Hello everybody and welcome back to the Spore of Mine. We are going to continue our game here and see what we can get up to. Ooh. Outbreak of crime. Yikes, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip her walking in. Uh, the night was calm. She had been searching and we brought back a ton of food, meds, very good stuff. Um, she is very tired because she didn't get her full night's sleep uh, yesterday on day three. Uh, how's Roman doing? He's only slightly sick now and slightly wounded. So that's good. Um, hungry, but it's not an odd number day, so we're not going to feed them. I'm going to have him get up and see what we can make. We have quite a bit of uh, meds. We have two bandages, two herbal meds. I could give him some herbal medication, and that would take away his slightly sick. But I could also go to the garage and trade that. Although I think what I wanted to do was go to the uh, decrepit squat where there's the homeless guy who I want to give food to. Um, I could make a filter to get more water. I do need to make this moonshine still. Ugh. It's so difficult. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I didn't mean to click make. It's difficult to figure out what to prioritize. I think I should improve this workshop. I think I should do this. It takes like all of our everything, but you need to do this, so I'm gonna do it. And then, yeah, we'll pretty much have nothing left. <sighs> But it opens up more options of things to build. So now, uh, yeah, see, we need to build these uh, board ups so that we can board up the holes in our wall, especially now since it's an outbreak of crime. That's really bad. We'll be getting raided like almost every night. And Roman is a good guard, but these will definitely help. So you need. Uh, 10 wood per uh, board up and you can build three of them. There's three holes in our walls. So we need 30 wood. That is insane. Um, you can also now build, this is a uh, rat trap. You can build to catch food. You need, oh my gosh, everything just takes so much. Uh, I want to build this too to make moonshine so we can have stuff to trade, but right now, like, we have nothing. <laughs> we have two components and one piece of wood left. And, uh, we're doing good on water. I can't make any more, though, because you need three components to make one filter. So... I wonder if I should have him... I'm gonna have him take an herbal medicine. Just so we can get over being slightly sick. Because he won't be able to sleep at night now. Now that it's an outbreak of crime, he'll have to be on guard all the time. So he won't be able to sleep overnight, which would uh, help in curing him with his wounds. I 
I'm not going to use a bandage, though. Ugh, maybe I should, but... Uh, someone's at the door. Hey, can you help me? <gasps> oh my god, that's Marco. Oh my gosh. I think that's Marco. If that's Marco, we're saved. This is the... Oh my gosh. Marco. Marco, I love you. Marco is my favorite character. That's Marco. <gasps> yeah! Oh my gosh, this is so great. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. Funny how life turns out. I'm a fireman. I've been saving people all my life. Now I'm the only one that needs saving. My family fled to the country. I wanted to go to them, but the city got encircled and I couldn't. Will you let me stay with you? Yes, Marco, I will. The reasons I love Marco are plenty. Number one, he has 15 backpack slots. So he can carry... He's the second best char uh, character in the game for carrying stuff. Number two, he is one of the more compassionate characters, uh, and I, you know, I like the good guys. So I'm not, I'm not a person who, uh, who roots for the the bad guys. He's a good, he's a good guy. He's a former fireman. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I did not expect on day four. To, for this to happen, this is so amazing. I'm sorry, I'm like at a loss right now. Is he wounded or anything? Marco, stop, stop moving. He's slightly sick. You know what, Marco? Go ahead and treat yourself to some meds because you are the most important. He's a skilled scavenger. Okay, we're going to look, uh, look at his bio. Um, I thought I'd been through hell before. I'm a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives more times than I care to remember. But back then I had people teamed up against a common foe, namely the fire. Nowadays, your former neighbor can kill you because your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This is true hell on earth. <sighs> I'm, I'm in shock. I'm amazed. Okay. This is so good. Like, I thought I was I was doing okay before, but with Marco now, this is like easy, easy street. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be easy. We still have to worry about the uh, outbreak of crime. But now we'll be able to have them both guard at night. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, Roman. Um, yeah, go ahead and go to bed. And... I'd like to be able to add, it's just a little bit too cold for my liking. I can make one piece of fuel. I don't want them getting sick. Um, so we're gonna have Marco go here. He's going out tonight because, oh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I just want one piece of fuel. I could burn the books. But I'm not that des desperate yet. So we're going to have him make one piece of fuel. And then we're going to have him go down here and add it to the heater. And hopefully that'll get it above 15 degrees. Which is when they're warm enough and they won't get sick. Fifteen, sixteen. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and end the day. And so we're gonna send Marco out. See, so yeah, yeah, fifteen. Oh, that's amazing. Roman's definitely gonna be on guard. I probably should put Katya on guard too. And then I'm gonna have Marco. Go to the decrepit squat. Materials, weapons, parts. Um, I'm going to have him go here and we're going to take one piece of food with us to give to the homeless man. Uh, 
Um, do I need a shovel or a crowbar? I think I might need a crowbar. I, you know what? Marco has so many backpack spaces that I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I'm, I don't think I need it, really, but it's better to take it uh, since he has so much carrying capacity anyway. So, we're going to go to a new place here. Ooh, it's raining. Ooh. It was ruined before the war. Now half the, the city looks like this. So, yeah, this is like a big place. And can we get in through here or do we have to go down? Oh, yeah, apparently we can. But I kind of want to go down, actually, <laughs> to clear this out. Um, this is a hiding spot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I'm going to do my my piling up trick again anyway. Uh, I want to get a pile like in the middle of the house so I don't have to run back and forth so much. Uh can I open this door? It won't budge. Okay. This is going to be our piling up pile. <laughs> so I'm going to dump... Oh, no. Not the food. I want to give that to the guy. We're going to dump all this stuff in here. And go back to get this stuff. So then we never have to come down to the basement again. Okay. And uh, was there something in here? No. Okay. We can go up here. You have to go like up and around to get to the guy anyway. I think I'm just gonna go and give him the food right now. I mean I know there's piles along the way. But um well first let's uh Let's break down those doors so it'll be easier to move around. And he's right here. Is there a door here? Is this just open? Can we just go right here? Yes. Good evening, sir. I'm very hungry. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Here you go. You are a good person. Well, thank you. Well, you do know how to thank me. You're going to give me some stuff. I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's jewelry, but... I have something that you may find interesting. Yes, well... He takes forever to, like, get over there and, you know... <laughs> so I'm just going to loot while he's, uh, walking there. Mm -hmm. Not great stuff, but... Good enough. Jeez. Mm, uh, lots and lots of stuff. Okay. We'll drop it off in our pile.
Um, I think I might be done with the shovel and the crowbar, but I'm just going to keep them on me, just in case. Let's go down here and see what he has to show us. Hello? Uh, have a look. There's something peculiar behind the barrels. So this only opens up if you give him the food. So what's in here? Ah. Oh, well, it's not that great, but still. I'll take it. It makes them happy, and I feel better for giving food to a homeless man. So we get pure alcohol, which is great um, in the later game for making bandages. And another piece of jewelry. So we're going to take that. Thank you very much, sir. I'm glad we could help you. And then we're going to loot as much of the place as we can before 430. Actually, we might need a, a crowbar up there. I don't remember. I don't remember what is in each place. All the stuff you need to take. Uh, what's in here? Oh, I need to check this too. What does this have to say? Oh, this is uh, what the homeless guy wrote. The letter says, Dearest Masha, I found shelter among the homeless. I am no longer a teacher or an artist. I am one of them now. There is not much food, so some of my friends have already left us. But do not be worried. I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I finish my painting. And then, when you go in this room... This is the way I was supposed to take. Uh, this is his painting here. Someone probably painted this picture recently. There are rich-looking people sitting together in a littered, ruined building. A metaphor of some sort, I believe. Yes. So, I should have gone that way. I just rushed. <laughs> rushed getting him the food. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm full up. Totally. Okay. Go back to our pile. I'm going to leave the shovel in there because I really don't think I need it here. I still might need the crowbar though. Um, let's move the top floor to clear out almost fills him up. We have two more spaces. And let's go up here. Oh. Shit. I need a, uh, a saw blade. God, every, every place needs so many saw blades. Uh, one piece of sugar. Alright. Alright. I'm just going to leave this pile here. I'm not going to worry about um, moving everything to my uh, pile because I'll need to come back with a saw blade and uh, clear that out. So I'm so grateful. Well, I'm glad we could help you out, buddy. So... Uh, Uh, what do we want to take? I'm going to take my shovel back. Oh my gosh, there's so many components here. Holy crap, and so much wood. I'm going to take the gem in case the trader guy shows up. These are best for late game. I guess I'm just taking wooden components like I always do because 
it's just, you know, the basic building materials that you need for everything. I don't want to take this much wood. Oh, it's so much better with Marco's enormous backpack. Oh, I love it. I think that will be good. One, two, three, four, five. So, 20 components. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So, 14 wood. Okay. Let's go. And so, uh, if you come here and you don't have food to give the guy right away, you can come back the next night and give him food. But if you, like, leave it for, I don't know, three or four days, that guy will die. And the next time you come back to this decrepit squat, he'll be dead. So that's, like, really depressing, which is why I wanted to bring him food right away. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us. They were a tough and mean bunch. But they didn't. Move. We had no weapons. Ah, oh, crap. I took the shovel and crowbar again. Roman was wounded, but they didn't steal anything. Roman has a deep wound. Oh, crap. That's not good. Okay. See, he's content now. When you help people, they become happy. I shared some food with a hungry man. Despite having so little, we need to remain human. I agree. That's how I play the game. You can play it like a jerk, but I don't. <laughs> um, poor guy. I understand why Marco just couldn't refuse to share some food with him. And we have an update to her story. I've been around more than any of my friends and relatives. I've met famous people. Readers found my interviews funny and incisive. But when I try to write down my experiences, I'm stuck. I want to find and hug my folks, not write about them. I wish I had been seeing them more often. And see, Roman is not content. He has nothing to say about us giving food to a uh, homeless man. So we're going to give you a bandage anyway, even though you're kind of a jerk. Um, everybody needs to sleep. I admire my, uh, I admire, <laughs> stop moving. I admire Marco's compassion towards that hungry man. You know what? I'm going to have Marco and Katya sleep and Roman just because you're kind of a jerk. I should have him sleep because he's wounded. Ugh. I was going to leave him up, but it looks like he's going to the bed anyway. Marco, Marco, sorry, Roman won't let you sleep. Oh, you beat him to it. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm so mean. Okay. Um, let's check the radio. It's still cold. Ugh. If you live in Pagoran, be advised to remain at home and lock your doors. Armed bands have taken to the streets. That's the rock station. Classical music. Weather? Still be nice and warm. Did I miss a news station? Coffees. Okay. We'll put it on the... Actually, I'm not going to put it on there because I really am worried about a uh, copyright claim. So, oh, it's day five. It's an eating day. So, Roman, why don't you go make some food if we have enough? We should have enough water. I'll probably need to make some more fuel. And I want to make fuel anyway to add to the heater. So, mm, okay, I'm gonna make four fuel, I guess. And then I should probably try and get some more water going and see if we can make. Oh, the 
the board up is what I need to do. I need 10. Ooh, I have 10 wood. So yeah, we definitely want to get um, this boarded up. Is Marco hungry? He is. Ugh. But Marco just came to us yesterday. So he should still be good until tomorrow. Someone's at the door. Oh, really? Jeez, people. I'm trying to get things done. I can't afford to send anybody out to help. Oh, man. Ugh. Who is this? I don't know what this guy wants. I'll wait until one of them is awake. Alright, Roman, eat. I don't want to lose any of them, but Marco and Katya are probably the most important. Roman, but Roman's a really good guard, and if I do need to kill somebody, he is the best. <laughs> uh, darn it. Okay, uh, let me try and make a board board up thing. Oh, Katya's awake. She's hungry and content. Okay, she definitely needs to eat because she was my original and they eat on odd days. We need this. It's going to use all of our wood, but we need it. So I'm going to have her eat, and then I'll have her go see what the person at the door wants. Oh, he's awake too. Um, I'm sure Roman will be fine. Yeah, probably. Actually, Marco, go make that Roman go to bed. And Katya. Oh, see what this person wants, I suppose. We can send her out. It wouldn't be the worst thing, I guess. Hi, what do you want? Good day to you. I live down the street and notice you're living in this abandoned building. I've got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know about one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get it, but under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is if you help me carry supplies. Deal? So, I'm going to do this, and I think it is actually best to send, send Katya, because we need Marco to go out at night and we need Roman to stay here in a guard so she uh, is the most expendable although I mean we cannot lose her because her bargaining skills are amazing but it should be okay to send her out uh, okay Marco is building that what uh, didn't I have him no 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 okay yeah, I'm going to try and hold off on feeding him till tomorrow. And Roman is recovering. He's bandaged. He's tired. Hopefully, by the end of the night, he'll be okay. And now this is boarded up, so that will help. But, let's see what else. Oh, do I have fuel left? I have two fuel left. I'm going to have him add one fuel to this, and it should get it above 15 degrees. I don't want them getting sick, too. How much? We have one bandage and one medicine left. And Roman might need the bandage tomorrow. Okay, I was going to say, oh, that didn't warm it up, up enough. Oh, 16. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the day. It still stayed at 16, so that's good. Okay. 
New locations. Um, the Quiet House, I almost never go here. It's an elderly couple and you can only steal from them and if you steal from them everybody gets super sad. So uh, I did once steal one bandage from them and that's all I've ever stolen from uh, innocent people in this game. The supermarket can be interesting. The store supplied the whole neighborhood before the latter turned into a war zone. Since the area is under military control, it might be dangerous to do the groceries there. Still, it might be worth the risk as there should be a lot of goods left. Okay, so the supermarket can have two different scenarios. Uh, this is the more dangerous one, obviously. It says danger. But I know what to do. You basically have to kill somebody if you want to go here. But um, it's a bad guy. So you can kill a bad guy and they'll be happy about it. Do I have... Do I have a knife or anything? I need a knife. So I can't go there yet. I need a knife first. So we're, we're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, Roman's going to be on guard. Marco's going to scavenge. I think we'll just go back to the decrepit squat. Oh, I needed a saw blade. Oh, well. We're just going to go back here and grab some more stuff real quick. And then I'm going to have to end the episode. Uh, yeah, I don't need either of those. I just need a saw blade, which I can't make. So we're just going to grab some more wood and components quickly and then run away. <laughs> so there was some wood and stuff that I left up here. There's a dead person sitting in that chair. I'm so sad. Okay. And the homeless guy is still here. He's still alive. Yay! And again, I, I think I'll just like, you know, say, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you once again. It's okay, dude. Alright, let's uh, drop off the sugar. We're going to take the wood, take components, lots of each. God, I... There's an opportunity for, what, 46 sugar? Because there was 30 at that other place? I really need to get a moonshine still going. I can make so much moonshine. No, for now, I'm just going to keep with components and wood. Uh, maybe I'll take a stack of parts. That seems good to me. Exit. Run to exit. Oh, oh, there's an exit over here. Apparently. <laughs> Marco is back. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you do, please leave a comment or a like or both, and I will see you for the next one. Bye!